Hello, I'm Drew, Application Engineer with Megger. Today we're going to be covering the user interface for the Baker DX. So the icons are arranged along the bottom for selecting the different functions of the, from the tester. The main static tests are organized from left to right as a normal test would be performed. First the RLC, uh, then the DC testing, both low voltage and high voltage, and then finally the surge test. Now we'll go through each of the icons and describe their functions. So on the left we have the yellow folder that is selected to handle all the file management where we have the folders and records. Um, from here you can create new folders or records, delete existing ones, or export your data um, off the DX to be used with the Surveyor DX software. The next icon again is the resistance, inductance, and capacitance testing screen. Uh, this screen has options for selecting which type of low voltage test you want to perform, resistance, inductance, capacitance, or single phase or armature test. And then we also have options for selecting the type of conductor being tested, whether copper or aluminum, and then also for entering temperature for temperature compensation. The DC test is the next test. Select there. And in the DC test screen, we have icons for selecting the type of uh, type of tester, the DX tester alone, or to be used in conjunction with the power pack for high voltage testing. Uh, option for selecting the type of insulation, whether thermal setting or thermoplastic, and then also options for selecting temperature and recording humidity during the time of the test. Okay, next is the surge icon. Surge testing, again, we have the option to select the type of tester. Here we have the DX only and the power pack. In addition, we also have the ZTX uh, impedance transformer for doing low impedance um, measurements. Um, and then we also have a power pack with the built-in armature test transformer as well. Okay. Then the next um, icon is for selecting the three phase, single phase, DC field coil or armature span test. So these three buttons allow you to select which lead is energized during your surge test, allowing you to test each of the phases uh, in turn. And if uh, you need to clear the screen, you have this option, this button here to select uh, clear screen. If your Baker DX is equipped with the optional partial discharge module, you'll have a, another icon here that's labeled PD. It will highlight green when it's activated. So in this state, partial discharge information is gathered during the normal search operation. So the next icon is for saving data. Once, it, once a test point has been captured, you can hit the save icon and then you can save to the active folder and record, or you could denote a new test record here by adding a new folder, typing in the name of the folder, hitting done, and then adding a new record. Hitting done, and then the data will be saved. The next icon is for reports. Here you can see the tests that have been conducted, folder, record, and results. And then by selecting this icon, you can select which records you want to include in your report. And you're allowed to either print, and depending on the type of record, you can see additional information by tapping the screen. Okay, the final icon is for tester settings. And once selected, allows you to have access to controls for the user, as well as factory settings, 
in calibration or tester configuration. So depending on your level of access, you'll have different um, options available to you.